All right, I'm gonna talk about a, uh, the Line 6 FBV2 uh, foot pedal switch. It's this. So I picked this up at a place called Digital Village. Uh, their website is dv247.co.uk, uh, I think. And it's 23 pounds. So it's the Line 6 FBV2 foot switch. It enables you to switch through your four channels on your Line 6 amp without having to touch the amp. You can just use your feet and cycle through your channels. So I'm not massively, well, I'm not good at all at guitar, but I play a few songs that have got you know clean bits in them and then distorted bits and vice versa. And I figured that this will just be cool to use, and it's sort of that's all it is. It's just a switch. Doesn't do anything else apart from cycle through your channels. The only downside to it is obviously it's only got two switches, so then it's four channels. So you've got to cycle right or cycle left. So you might have to click it, you know, two times or three times to get to the channel that you want. But yeah, for twenty-three quid, what can you do? The next one up is the uh, Express. I think it's called the Express. It's got the four individual channel foot switches, so you can just select which one you want, which is obviously a lot better, it's got like a built-in wire pedal, but I ain't that good, so, and that's like 80 pounds as well, and this one was like 23, so it's all good. So basically, what it comes with, is it's actually quite heavy, it's um, a bit bigger as well than I thought it was going to be, but, it, yeah, you get that, the box, and then you get, this, it's basically an Ethernet cable, a Cat5 e Ethernet cable, which goes in the side here, uh, and then that goes into your input, or your, your pedal, uh, jack on your amp. So I know it definitely works with my amp, it's the Line 6 Spider 3 amp is what I've got. Um, 75 watt, it definitely works with that. There's a list on their website so if you're unsure if it's going to work with your pod or your amp then go and check that out first because it says it works with all the Line 3, uh, the Line 6 Spider 3s but then in the small print it says it doesn't work with like the lowest wattage ones so you know trying to catch you out there I guess. Um, it's rugged as hell, I mean, you can't, you're not going to crush this bad boy, so if you're using it for gigging or whatnot, then, you know, I don't think you're going to have much problems with this. And, uh, it's got a foam pad on the bottom, so it's kind of like anti-slip. I'm only going to be using it in my, in my room, just playing bedroom guitarist, so, I don't know, I just think this is going to, uh, it's going to probably outlast me, so... What I'm going to do is, in a minute, I will angle the camera around and then I can show you exactly what it does. And there's no delay on it either. I know a lot of people are thinking, oh, well, there might be a delay when you press the button, how fast does your channels change? And to be honest, from after, I've had a little fuck about with it, and it seems to me like it's sort of instantaneous, like it switches over quicker than if you was to press the buttons on the amp to change channel. So that's good, because I was a little bit... So if, uh, someone online or I was reading up and they said, oh, it's, damn, my delays is like a delay, like a couple of seconds, like when I press it, like, you know, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, so it doesn't happen. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to just strum a few notes just so you can see. I'm going to try and show you. It's going to be hard holding the camera and doing the guitar and activating this. So I don't want to hear your shit, oh, you can't play guitar, oh, your equipment shit. I don't want to hear that bullshit. I'm just showing you about the product. So, it works. It does its job. It actually does what it says, which is new to me in the, uh, in, like, you know, in my life. Something that actually does what it's supposed to do and works. So, yeah, touch wood. Um, it powers itself through the cable, the Cat5e cable that you get. So, it doesn't need batteries or power supply or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cut now and go to showing you it, how, it act, how it works, basically. Okay, so part two of the video, or the, the close-up part, is basically, you can see it, I have plugged the switchboard the footboard in, let's so make sure they're in properly, which they are, right, so on your amp obviously you got channel A, B, C and D, and usually if you push these, it changes what, what channel, or what, your, what tone that you've set to that channel, 
at the moment, those are all set as it come out of the factory, so it's shit that I never ever use, but you know, I can program, say, A to my distortion, and then B to a clean, acoustic-y type thing, maybe C to like some kind of leady, distortion it stuff, and D to whatever, and then I can use this to, to cycle through them, so that's going right, that's going left, if you reach the end and you want to go left, it just cycles back there. So basically the light that's lighting up shows you exactly what channel I'm in. I mean that's pretty much it. It doesn't really, yeah, well it doesn't do anything else. That is exactly what it does. So if I try and just grab the guitar and I can just sort of, uh, I don't know, strum a little note and then show you how it changes. So we... <laughs> Excuse a guitar, by the way, it's in um, drop D half a step down, so it's not. It's actually, it's, yeah. I mean, I'm just strumming some shit, so you can see what it sounds like. I don't want to hear and you get tens one. I want to hear that shit. So that's what it does. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do for myself is I'm gonna set like the channels exactly to what I want, like you know. In, in a bit. I'll actually have to figure out how to do this because I've completely forgotten on the amp. And then yeah, you can obviously, you would use your feet instead of your hands, but for the purposes of this video, it will be too much work to uh, try and incorporate showing me stepping on it. So that's what it does.